Hello everyone! I am back again, but just for commentary this time. <clears throat> I am coming at you with a very special guest to our Retrothon. This is a runner all the way from China. We have uh, Mega Man Rock Force here, Chinese speedrunner. Been a speedrunner for quite some time, ran many games, and as you can see in the audience here, we have others in the Chinese speedrunning community coming by to support. Which <laughs> I just think is wonderful. I love the fact that the world speedruns. Alright. Well, as you can see, we are on our way. Sorry about that. I just wanted to say, oh, and by the way, you're going to see the six, the six numbers spam in chat. What that means in the Chinese community is when the runner does something good, you spam the sixes like that. It's basically, you know, just another way of saying great job. So whenever you see our runner here do something great, go ahead and spam those sixes. Alright, so this is Contraforce. Um... Honestly, I know this game gets a lot of uh, unfortunate hatred, and a lot of it is justified. It's not a complete game. Well, I mean, it's a complete game for release, but they missed out on smoothing it out. It's very, very laggy. Yeah, this is on NES. There's three Contras on the NES. Contra, Super C, and Contra Force. He took an unfortunate death there. Uh, as you saw earlier, when he took a death, he scrolled the screen over. Oh, that's a, that's okay. That's okay. Uh, I okay. Let me go over this. This game is very hard, specifically on the first stage. The first stage is probably the hardest stage of the game. All right. So now that I caught it this time, he takes a death here for a reason. What he's doing is he's getting to the front of the screen so he can kill enemies before they cause too much lag. A lot of this game's strats are based around lag because it is so incredibly laggy. For whatever reason, this game is just incredibly laggy. Another unfortunate death there, that's okay though. Uh, another part of this game is that you actually get four uh, soldiers to choose off the bat. They all have their different special abilities. Um, Beans here is the fastest running, so that's why you're seeing this character being used right now. Um, there's three other characters. I don't remember all their specific names, uh, but each has their own specific kind of weapon. As you can see in the bottom left, they have kind of a karate system of power-ups, which I think is honestly pretty neat. I think it's pretty neat that they have a Grady's power uh, system over here. Alright, you're gonna see... He's doing a specific strat here. What he did is he made the CPU player come out and die. There's a reason for this. There was a new skip found in this game on the first stage. That if you do that, and you go to the boss, you kill the boss, and you destroy a specific crate, Right as the boss is dying, you will actually completely skip stage two. It is a massive, massive time saver for the old run. Completely skipping a stage is pretty nuts. You're also going to see another glitch this game has to offer right here. He pause and on pause, and then he can jump again in the air. You can do this any amount of times you want. For whatever reason in this game, every time you jump, or every time you jump and uh, pause. And then on pause, if you hold jump again, you can just jump continuously. Great first boss kill, and I think he got it. There it is. He got it. He got the manipulation. Everybody throw your sixes in chat right now. These skips are, these cutscenes are unskippable, by the way. Boom. Throw your sixes up for, for Mega Man Rock Force. That is the new manip. Now we're going to completely skip stage 2 and go straight to stage 3. Stage 2 is actually more like top down and straight up, but you know, we don't have to worry about that. Okay, so here, he's going to switch some beans uh, over to Burns. Burns is the second fastest, but he's also, uh, he jumps the highest. And that's important because you can see he's manipulating the... Uh, 
the pause jump over and over again to skip every part of the right side of this level. He's going to be uh, manipulating it here as well. Also, you'll notice that Burns has two extra lives. As long as you switch soldiers in this game, you can have up to eight lives pretty much overall between all your uh, characters. <laughs> Alright, he's also going for another newer skip here. He's going to manipulate himself through the bottom of the floor up here, which he did once already. And then he's going to do it again. The reason he switched the second player on to go off the screen that time was because he wanted to scroll the screen to a specific point. Uh, so he'll actually clip through the floor. Which I believe he's going to do again. Which he did right there. Again, he manipulated the screen downwards so he can ma manip uh, manipulate himself to the top of the screen. And actually, he, he now went straight to the boss. He's straight on the boss. And what happens when you glitch this boss and get up this far, it's much lower to the ground than it normally would be. So you can actually just use your regular gun on this boss. Instead of having to use any kind of special weapons or shoot up at it, you're just right, right at the gun. Look at how glitchy this game is. Oh, it's so great. This game is such a fun speed <laughs> Alright, he only has one more spark for this boss to kill, and he's through this boss. Boom. Yeah, this run has so many glitches in it, it's wonderful. And that's the boss. He beat the boss. Great job. Another great level there. By uh, Mega Man Rock Force. Excellent, excellent run. There's, uh, there's only actually a total of five stages in this whole game. And we skip one of them now. If, if we could somehow figure out a way to skip this next level, the record in this game will probably go down about five plus minutes. Stage four in this game is by far the longest. Uh, and the laggiest, so you're about to see pretty much the worst stage in the run. He's doing a wonderful job. But again, the first stage in this game is by far the hardest, because there's so many little details that you have to do, but I think he's hitting his groove now. And this death is intentional. He wants to get to the top of the plane without scrolling the screen. He's switching back to Beans here, who had zero lives, so he's going YOLO, he's going straight speedrun strats. And I believe he can, uh, he can pull this off. So as you can see already from the beginning here, the stage is super, super laggy. As is pretty much every stage in this game. But what you want to do, again, is shoot the enemies so they actually despawn on the top of the screen. They unfortunately didn't get any of them there. But, uh, but yeah, you want them to despawn so they're just completely off the screen. Just their sprites alone cause so much lag. <laughs> but he may, he's making his way through not just one plane. As you're going to see here, he's going to be making his way across multiple planes, as any Contra veteran would be able to do, of course. As they all stand on top of these wings as they're flying through the air. Alright, that was nice. He got the right one on despawn there. So he's waiting up here. He scrolled the screen up a little bit on purpose here. Because there's going to be some enemies in the next wing and he doesn't want to run into them. And when you switch wings like this, you actually get pushed closer to the top of the screen because it slows down for a second. So he's got to be really careful here to kill them as they spawn on the screen because it's really close to the top. Also, you'll notice he did actually take one power-up. And it's the only power-up that's used in the run anymore. The fourth option gives you a third bullet, so when you're fighting bosses, you can kill them a lot faster. He's taking it a lot uh, uh, safer here, which I don't blame him one bit. That's the scariest room in this level. There's a lot of enemies. He killed them all, which despawns a ton of lag. So good on him. He's, he's far enough ahead of the screen to avoid these bullets. He really took a chance there, and it paid off. Like, you have to be really far on the screen for that not to hit you, and he was pretty much perfectly set there. So good on Mega Man Rock Force. Alright, he's gonna be switching planes here again. He might scroll the screen. Yeah, he's gonna scroll the screen up a little bit. He doesn't want to be that close. Um, unfortunately, you have nothing here to, to wait, and when you wait in the lag, it waits just that much longer. But there's now smaller planes that he's crossing, and he backed up. See, there's a soldier right there. 
Alright, so these missiles are actually... Uh, can opt to not spawn at all, or they can spawn constantly and cause lag, like what's going on here. Unfortunately, he got some, some pretty bad missile luck there. But he did scroll the screen back a little bit again. Uh, not so necessary for that one, but for the next one it will be. You can be high enough to avoid the missiles, but that's sketchy. You don't want to really do that. So he's, he's sticking on the uh, the mid part of the screen, so the missiles are a much more easy to avoid. But he'll catch up to the top of the screen as he flips through two more planes here. Very nice kill there. Despawn that soldier. Very nice. And uh, I'm just going to keep making his way to this laggy level. Um, yeah, uh, for the second stage, it does have really good music, but there's just no there's no second stage anymore in this thing, any percent speed run. It's completely routed out now, which I think it is an amazing discovery, honestly. I find it to be absolutely wonderful. Mega Man Rock Force uh, got the world record for this. He showed me the uh, the ability to do a, to, uh, to skip stage two, and then he grinded it a bit, and he just crushed the previous record. Because he skips an entire stage, so he doesn't even need to, you know, it, it saves so much time. Alright, so what he's going to do here, obviously, is to kill this boss. But he's going to stay just low enough to where the boss doesn't roll. And he can still just sit there and mash and hit it. As you can see, Mega Man Rock Force has a very hefty mash. Mega Man Rock Force is playing on emulator. You can see in the lower left how well he's mashing. That is that boss. Oh, your six is up in chat for getting past that crap stage. It is, it's not the hardest, but it's definitely the worst stage in the game. Great job so far, Mega Man Rock Force. He's got one more level to go. <coughs> uh, again, one of these unskippable cutscenes. Another downfall of this game is the unskippable cutscenes. You skip these, you end up saving like another minute and a half. <laughs> over the overall run. I am not. The runner is Chinese, however, Sid. We do, we have the luxury of having a Chinese speedrunner in our event, and I'm so happy about it. I love, like, introducing all parts of the world into Retrothon. If you want to introduce all games into Retrothon, you know? All retro games. Alright. So, this is the last stage. He's gonna make a um, he's going to do a strat that I kind of routed out because I didn't think it saved so much time. Uh, but it, if done optimally, it does. He's doing the same strat as he uh, did in the stage 3, where he's going to bounce up into the wall, which he did very successfully because that's actually scary. It can kill you. Yeah, exactly, Sid. Um, but he did it. Very. Uh, he's he's going to take it a little easy here. Again, Beam has... He's gonna switch over. Oh, no, he's opting not to. Oh, he was just getting the extra jump boost. Okay, I thought he would switch over to another character in case. He just wanted that little extra jump boost so he didn't die there. Good call on his part. And, uh... And we are on the final boss coming up here. I think it's going to be... Well, that... Arnold looking individual that's been trying to intimidate us all game. That is the last boss. You get right next to the boss and I hit you. You just sit there and mash for days. You can destroy the helicopter as well, but it's it will not end the game. You have to kill Arnold here. So you get down here and oh, very nice. It's gonna be GG on Song Q here. And GG on his run. Amazing run here by Mega Man Rock Force. Absolutely astounding. Besides the little hiccup in the beginning, he did a flawless run. He got the skip. He got all three skips. They're not easy to do. So, that is it for Mega Man Rock Force's Contra run. Shout out to Mega Man Rock Force making the effort to be in this marathon and putting up an absolute great run of Contra Force. This, this time here, even with game overing and continuing, is only about 20 seconds slower than the, the old world record. So, lots of time saved. Alright, thank you everyone. 
give uh, give Mega Man Rock Force another uh, bout of sixes and GGs. He deserved it. Thank you, Mega Man Rock Force, for being here. And let's continue Retrothon now with Spelunker action from Doc.